Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayu is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Ooh. I spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously waiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. That delay opened the front door to let her in. Huh. Okay. Stop. Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Here in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Please don't make you feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Now, she is carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Kevgui? Come on. When I need to be a gentleman. Grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Ugh. This is ridiculously heavy. Ah, ha, ha. I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. Hee hee hee. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. You really hate being so small that much? Eh? Um, not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, uh, please, never mind. What are you making me say? Um, don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Aww. Ha 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 ha. What? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Uh, hey! Now are you now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like Ah uh, ah uh. Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki Forget it! I didn't say anything! <laughs> oh, this will be fun. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Ah, uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey, that to me. Gross. Man, let's just get started already. Ha ha ha. You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. Finally found your weakness, Kabuyi. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Whew. For long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour spilled, fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixture isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Kevgui, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, people can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. 
Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Ah, uh, you're asking me. I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. Not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, uh, that looks... Look, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it. In the end, it, if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? Work on Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayuri Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Let's make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Please, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. As he grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to eat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As it's emphasized, Natsuki sticks the finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! Got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mmm! She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez! You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Ah, stop. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Nanto, you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Think dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. That's so. In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. What? 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 Oh. Huh. Did, did you seriously just... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. we? Oh my gosh, those eyes. Oh, oh my. Really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls, unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazed at me in silence. I noticed her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? Uh? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Something burning? No, you didn't put the cup cupcakes in yet. Eh? <sighs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. He sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. Tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. The moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. Like nothing ever happened. Woo! Ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. 
He proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. Oh! I hope we get to see them next episode, though. Doki Doki Literature Club. Woo! Got some nice tension going on between us. Oh my. I hope, uh... Hope something happens in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!